to Ask Raw TV. We are here today with Dr. Michael Wald, Doctor of Nutrition and Director of Nutritional Services at Integrated Medicine of Mount Kisco, PC. Our topic today is Integrated Medicine. What is the meaning of Integrated Medicine? Well, my clinic is called Integrated Medicine of Mount Kisco for a reason, because I believe that integrating the very best in what traditional medicine has to offer with natural medicine and nutrition has to offer makes the best sense. Why give a person just nutritional options and natural options when they might actually benefit from certain medical options? And the reverse is also true. If a person does not want to take advantage of traditional medicine or they've had just bad luck, why not also give them natural um, uh, medicine to choose from? So integrated medicine, by definition, is a merging of the best of Western and Eastern uh, types of philosophies or natural philosophies together, or simply allowing uh, the, the, the patient or the client to have, have choice, have, have greater choice by choosing among uh, what's available. And that's what integrated is. What makes integrated medicine ideal? Well, I think that integrated medicine is ideal uh, fundamentally because it allows a greater potential for the person to get better. Most of the patients I see have been through the gamut of medical tests. They've seen different specialists, very intelligent, well-meaning people. But unless you have an integrated mindset, which is like a holistic mindset and a way of, of looking and appreciating, uh, looking at the person and appreciating all the different things that can, that can go on in that person, and providing them different types of healing options from wherever they might come from, uh, you, you really uh, do the, the person a disservice. So again, integrated medicine is uh, a, a, an approach that gives just greater choices. Are all types of diseases and people suited to integrated medicine, or are some more suited than others? I would say that virtually every symptom or health problem is suited to integrated medicine. If these health problems are treated by traditional medicine, uh, your regular allopathic physician, uh, and, if, and if these conditions involve the body, which depends on nutrition, you can see how an integrated approach that involves both of those things uh, is, is the natural choice. So I personally believe that any health issue uh, can fall within the integrated uh, approach or, or the complementary uh, medical approach. Integrated medicine often faces criticism similar to that of alternative medicine. But is that warranted? Well, you know, there are different terms used here, and, and let's go over a few of them. You mentioned alternative medicine, and, and different practitioners use these terms differently. But the way I see it, alternative medicine, by definition, involves things other than uh, medicine and instead of medicine. I personally prefer to provide options that may or may not be used with some traditional medicine. So I don't practice alternative medicine per se. I choose integrated medicine because it involves the best of whatever's available from whatever it might be available. So the, then the person can choose what combination they want of traditional medicine or natural medicine. And then there's holistic medicine, which is similar to alternative medicine the term implying that the person is viewed as a whole and natural medicine is used or natural and nutritional approaches are usually uh, emphasized and usually does not involve a whole lot of traditional medicine. So the point, though, is the takeaway here is as you investigate different practitioners that you might see for your own health issues, you want to really find out what their personal definition uh, is of, uh, of how they're practicing and how they're providing therapies to people. Don't just assume that alternative, complementary, integrated, or, or holistic mean the same thing to everyone. This has been Dr. Michael Wall.